All right, welcome to The Lowdown, brought to you by Unibet. I'm Dev Sarni, and joining me today is the unified World Light Heavyweight Champion, the unbeaten monster, Arta Baturbiev. Oh, you shook your head when I said monster. Come on, are you not a monster? No, no, I'm not the monster. How I'm... are you? How is life? Been a while since I've seen you. How is Arta Baturbiev? Good, everything good. Uh, we're on camp. Uh, preparing for fight everything good thank you i can see the beard is a bit longer i see you've got you got the hat on maybe the hair's a bit thicker as well are you uh is this pure caveman mode <laughs> no it's it's like i don't have time to go uh haircut you know <laughs> you said that you would prepare to be fast for anthony yard because he said that you were slower than uh, than he thought. So, um, how's that going? Are you are you faster now, Arthur? Yes, yes, of course. We we will see in in twenty uh, eighth of Jan uh, January night. Have you been working on the speed? Is that something that's been on your mind, or is that just something you've been saying for fun? Yeah, both in mind and working on it. Last time we spoke, you said that you hadn't seen much of Anthony Yard. You hadn't really watched any videos or anything, and that maybe you would do that in camp. Now you are in camp. You must have watched some of Anthony Yard. What do you think? I, I can say same same thing what I say for you. Same thing I, what I already said. I, he is a good fighter, like, you know. He has good experience in the uh, professional, but um, for uh, uh, details, you know, I never give you details. Like you know, <laughs> I mean, what we see, what we we working on it, you know, it's we never give you. <laughs> see, can you see where uh, I understand that you're not going to give me any game plan? I know, but can you? Uh, is there anything you've seen where you think he is strong? Where you think he is very good? Even that I can say, you. <laughs> you know, it's any boxer is strong, like you know, any boxer is dangerous. It's like uh, that's it. It's, it's it's you know, it's real, really, it's a real fight, and uh, I'm preparing for hundred percent, trying to hundred, be ready to hundred percent. He preparing, and it's gonna be good uh, fight. Are there any fights in particular that you have been watching of Anthony Yard? Did you watch the fight with Kovalev? Was it the fight with Lyndon Arthur? Which fights have you been watching? <laughs> you know, I, I feel I feel like I'm I'm in uh, I don't know it's words like when you when police arrest arrest <laughs> you and they ask you like you know they do uh, rapport you know rapport. Like yeah, yeah, the, an interrogation. Yeah, 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 yeah. We watch. We like you know. We, I watch these fights. Like you know, good fights. Okay, well let, let's stop, let's stop with the interrogation. Let's talk about um, when you faced off with him. You faced off with him twice uh, when you were in London. In the first face off, you punched the table. Um, you said it's because you didn't want to injure him and ruin the fight. Um, did you also want to send a bit of a warning? Because it made a big thud. Was that a kind of message to Anthony Yard? This could be your face? No, I I changed my mind, you know. I think I tried to I try to um, uh, check is the table is strong or not, you know. That time I want to know if the table is strong or not, you know. Okay. Only that. And and was it strong? Strong enough, strong, you know. It's good. It's good. I'm not uh, punch hundred percent, you know. Maybe there is. Maybe I broke the table. Yeah. Well, we we as a Queensbury Promotions have been told to get very strong tables in for when you're in London in a couple of weeks. So uh, we're we're going to be ready. Okay. Okay. Not coming to, uh, to punch the uh, table, you know. No, because I guess in a couple of weeks you can actually punch Anthony Yard, right? 
I mean, I'm not coming to to pay to punch a door, table. I don't know somewhere else. Okay, well, that, that's good to know. Furniture is safe. Um, tell me, in the in the second face off, you were in the ring, all the crowd around you. That face off seemed more intense. It was longer. You did it twice. What did you think of that face off? What did you see in his eyes? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I do this face to face just for uh, need it, you know. That's it. They ask me and I do. I'm not take care of face to face. I'm not trying to see there something, you know. Maybe someone uh, do or some for someone is helping or someone scaring of face to face or something. I don't know, but I'm not. It's not. It's part of like uh, promotion, you know, like for fight. And I do this for for fun. Have you ever looked into your opponent's face and think they are scared of you? Has that ever happened in your career? Oh, I'm not. I'm not thinking about. You know, it's it's always uh, it's always like my opponent can me uh, can can make me believe it. He's scared of me, you know, or opposite. And uh, it's it's not right right direction when you when you're playing uh, face to face and if you win face to face you can you think in your mind you win fight is not true i believe that i don't know maybe well, someone well both times you uh, you looked away first i don't know what that means i don't know if it means anything but um but you did look away first it, it but doesn't matter right <laughs> anthony yard was sat next to alexander usik during the fight, a man that you know well. And Anthony Yard said that Alexander Rusik has given him some advice. He didn't say what, but he said he gave him some advice. What do you think about that? And can that help? I don't know. <laughs> you know, if it's helping for him, it's good, good for him, you know. You don't think maybe Usyk could give him any any kind of tips or any any pointers that could help him in the fight? What Usyk can give him? Uh... Well, I guess Usyk has boxed you a few times in the amateurs, so he knows you, whereas Anthony Yard hasn't boxed you. Yeah. And? <laughs> I don't know. Anthony Yard just said that he, he was given some advice, but he wouldn't say what it was. But um, what what did you think of the... Uh, the Tyson Fury and Usyk face-off at the end as well. What did you think of that? You were there. You must have seen it. I seen it after when it's in, in uh, Instagram, but not there. I'm not seeing it in, there. Tyson Fury do, do his work like you know very well. He do good promotion and uh, he do good good box. You know. And tell me, how, how do you see that fight going if it does happen? Usyk against Fury. What's your prediction on that fight? I'm not see this fight. I, I never see this fight. When I when is they fighting? And after we know, <laughs> after I tell you, how is going? Well, how is how how was it? You know. Well, let's talk about your weight division. You're obviously at 175 pounds. The other champion is Dimitri Bivol. Um, now, Dimitri Bivol beat Canelo. Let me ask you this. When Canelo stepped up to 175 pounds, why did he fight Bivol for one belt and not fight Baturbiev for two belts? Why do you think he chose Bivol and not you? How do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this is, this is what I'm asking you. I don't know too, but you need to ask this Canelo, not me. How how can I answer this one? You know, it's they choose uh, Bivol, not me. I choose Bivol. Was it a fight that you would have wanted if you were offered it? What Canela? Yeah, if the, I mean, if it's a fight coming, yeah, I, I I take it. But I'm not dreaming about this fight or. Okay, well, t tell me this. We've got we've got a couple of minutes left. You've been compared to Khabib. People are saying you are boxing's answer to Khabib. What do you think about that? I don't know, people. 
if if people say it's okay <laughs> if people like that like like say that like this uh, it's okay no problem i'm not i'm not i'm not worried not take care of it don't worry about it it's a good comparison um so tell me finally after before i let you go what's going to happen on january 28th we'll see coming coming to see fight and you know that <laughs> We're preparing. Uh, I tried to be ready Andre Patsen Saturday 28th of January. Okay. Night. Great. Well, we will see you in a couple of weeks' time. Great to speak to you again, Arta, and uh, speak to you soon. Thanks. Thank you. Anthony Yard puts him down with a chopping right hand. Better be When I beat someone like Petovia, it just feels better. The Beast from the East, Lord! Arthur Betterbeev, the three belt world champion at light heavyweight. The only world champion in boxing with a 100% knockout ratio. He was offered a million dollars to step aside and he refused to take it. It's this guy who got no fear in his body. I actually have it, because I don't care what no one thinks.